story. Here's the story with the little strong ass 17 year old nigga. Okay. So, so the reason, the reason that I'm in Gainesville is because I fucking live there, nigga. I don't live where broke niggas stay, but I stay in the same town as them niggas. I don't never see them. Cause I be out on the lake. I got boats and jet skis and shit. I got white friends. I don't have to be around niggas all the time. White people have fun during the day. Niggas be stressed out all day. My white friends will go fishing for three hours, go hunting for two hours, go drinking for six hours. And then be like, what a fucked up day. We didn't do shit. Oh, look, that's three vacations to it. So if I want to see real niggas, I go to the hood. This particular time I was going to the hood, I had on a pretty, I, had a, I was driving a Polaris slingshot. So most motherfuckers ain't never seen one before. So it was a lot of people fucking paying attention to it. And suddenly cops start showing up following a nigga. So I'm not no dummy. You're not finna follow me for three motherfucking blocks and think I'm finna keep rolling. I'm finna pull the fuck over and let you state your motherfucking business, officer, who ain't put on your lights yet. So I pulled over in the hood. And the officer pulled over too. I was like, oh, for really? So then I get out the bed. And he started following me with the vehicle. So now I'm walking down the street and the cop got his vehicle side by side with me like we're walking together. And then the kids from the motherfucking soccer game all come out and follow a nigga. And that's what make the police drive the fuck off. So to me, these little kids just saved me from a motherfucking next day in jail. So I say, what the fuck is all of y'all doing out here? They say, we was playing soccer. I said, well, I'm in. So I take the weakest team, the team that's losing, scores one to zero. We got zero. I put my team in a huddle. I tell them, listen here, motherfuckers. I'm 49. 67, 82 years old. I can't be out here all motherfucking day. I'm going to give y'all 20 strong minutes. I don't know how to play soccer, but I'm going to play the shit out of it for y'all. But listen here, team. We will not lose. And all of them people, kids, the black ones, the Asian ones, and the Hispanic ones all put their hand in, and we said, we will not lose. And we beat them motherfuckers five to two. In soccer, you don't, niggas, y'all ain't never played soccer. Y'all don't know how long it takes to get five goals. I think we was out there for six and a half hours. Them little niggas just kept running. I hate soccer. That's, no wonder niggas play basketball. Soccer is bullshit. You don't do nothing be tired all day. You, you be tired, you ain't even got the ball yet. <laughs> So, 
before the game's gonna be over. Cause if you watch the tape, the game never officially ends, I end it. He said some slick shit and I said, hey, you know y'all can't win this game, so why would you say fuck me? And he said, well, what you gonna do about it? I said, listen, you know I'm in trouble with the motherfucking law. You see all these people recording. But just understand, if I can take your ass around this motherfucking corner, I would explain to you you don't talk to grown niggas like that. So now when we go around this corner, I'm asking all the pertinent questions. Do you have a mother? Do you have a father? Where are they? <laughs> so all these people in the hood, nobody is coming. Not one person in your hood is gonna step in front and go, cat, don't knock this baby out. I'm looking at all the faces and everybody looking at me like, knock that nigga out, cat, that nigga is a menace to the community. So I said, okay, maybe I'm just being too strong, because why would a kid be trying to fuck with me? I said, maybe my posture is wrong, because I've been playing soccer, and maybe this nigga think I'm trying to stunt on him in his hood. Let me change my motherfucking posture. So I go up against the wall like this, and when I go up against the wall, that nigga stand over me like this. So I say to myself, let me stand up, and let this nigga see that even though we the same, Size. You're a little boy. I'm a grown ass man. I, I can hit you with this broken fist and get blood. I just want you to have a bloody mouth so that you can have that lesson later that that's what happens when you say slick shit to grown ass men. Because maybe them niggas can't teach you that. But a nigga that can hit you is also a nigga that can pull out a gun and blow your motherfucking brains out. Why would you put yourself in that position just because you lost a soccer game? But clearly, you probably don't have no father to teach you that. So bam, you can get that lesson right there. But because I'm a real nigga, I'm only going to give you that one punch and then you can do whatever you want to do. Now, if you watch that video and really think that I was getting choked out by a strong teenager, then... Why don't you catch me when I'm out in public dolo and put your little fragile ass arm around my neck and why don't you choke me to sleep, nigga? I'm simplified till I die, Marine Corps, bitch. I passed motherfucking boot camp at 16. I don't give a fuck what you say about nothing. That's how I knew New York wasn't gonna cancel on me. New York loved thorough niggas. New Yorkers. I'm gonna tell you how thorough New Yorkers are. 